hi everyone welcome back to my channel so this is a continuation of the project that we are trying to build right so we are trying to build this project and this is the part two of the video okay so in previous class if you remember in the previous lecture we deployed the application on our ec2 instance right so by using these steps right i hope you are clear with that so if you're not clear with the, anything please drop a comment down uh, comment here in this video I'll, I'll try to pick that up in the next video okay so next the part two is to containerize the application using the docker container right so for this the very first thing that we need to do is to install docker on our ec2 instance and we need to also write the docker file which is needed to build the image Right, so first let us go ahead and install a docker on our EC2 instance. So how do you install docker? So there are many different ways on which you can uh, install your docker, right? So one such uh, is to use convenience script. So this is what I use usually when I was uh, when I work on docker or docker related things. So this is really simple. You just have to run two commands. That's all. So there are multiple ways. So I'll drop the link to this uh, documentation, official documentation by Docker in the uh, description box. You can also check that out. So I'll also add it in, in our uh, you know page or the document that I'm creating. Okay. So let's go with this method install using convenience script. So this is the script that we have. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so we just need to run these two commands. That's all. This this is just simple, right? So first one, I'll just copy this one. First, let me go back to my server. So let me clear the screen for you. Okay, let me go to go back. Okay, I'll just say CD. I'll just uh, check what my uh, present working directory is. I'm in uh, this directory. I'm good with that. Okay, so let me check if we have Docker installed already. I'll just say docker hyphen hyphen version okay if you see command docker not found right so let's go ahead and run that script that we have copied okay so it is just curl with some uh, options and this uh, you know uh, link get docker.com hyphen ho get docker.esh so this is just a script that we are running okay so first it is getting that script let me hit enter that script is here with me right now let me type in ls hyphen lrt if you see here we have that script here so we need to run this script that is all we have to do okay so there is a command to run that also ignore this dry run is equal to one just copy from sudo sh dot dot slash get docker dot sh right so that is the file that we have right so i'll just paste that in and i'll hit enter so this is going to install a docker on your system so this is just how you install a docker on your system right it is really easy right next we need to containerize this image right so for that you need to if you have seen my documentation here for this we will have to write a docker file which is needed to build this entire image right so uh, this docker file i've already added in my repository and it is already there in the ec2 instance also right so when i clone this repository if you see here it also contains docker file so i clone this entire repository and this docker file is already there in our ec2 instance so let, uh, let us check that out okay so i'll just say um, it is done the docker is installed right now so let me check docker hyphen hyphen version right now okay you would get a response saying docker uh, this is the version of your docker okay we are good with that let me type in lf hyphen lrt again so if you see this is the repository i'll just get into that repository i'll just say cd docker with that uh, sorry cd docker flask application i'll just it should be small cases cd docker and hit enter right now i'm in here i'll just say ls hyphen lrt okay so now if you see we already have a docker file here let's see what is there inside docker file right so let me clear the screen i'll just say cat docker file okay if you see here this is the simple docker file that we have right so what we have here we have from python 3.6 right so we are installing pip and we are copying it to this source file 
and we are exposing this particular port and this is the working directory and we are running the uh, application here right so if, if i tell you this way you will not understand right so first what it is doing from the base image of python 3.6 basically with ubuntu we are getting python right so from that one you are going to run a command which is pip install flask right so that is what we done when in the step one also so first we installed python but we are already getting python here we are mentioning from python 3.6 that means with the ubuntu image ubuntu image already has got python installed so i'm getting that here already so the next thing that we did is install pip uh, install pip, uh, pip install flask right so that is what we are doing here okay and this python uh, 6 3.6 which we have in the docker docker file which which will come with a pip install already so you don't have to run pip install uh, sorry python 3 install pip so if you want to do that you can add one more command that's it uh, you just need to type in run python 3 install python uh, sorry uh, yeah uh, python 3 install pip that's all right so that is all have you have to do so now, now we are installing flask here and we are copying whatever the source the file that we have we are copying it to this uh, uh, you know folder right so this is the path and then we are exposing this 8080 port so that is what that is where our application is application is running right so we saw that also and our current working directory is opt because we changed that here right and after that what we are doing we are running python app.py right so that is what we are doing here if you see this is the docker file that you need right so let me clear the screen now we are inside this docker flask demo right so now what we'll do is we'll create an image out of this uh, docker file okay for that you will have to run this command so it is docker okay so first let us see if there is any containers or images that we have right so let me type in docker ps so this is the command to check if there is any uh, if there is any container that is already running if you see here i got a permission denied error because i'm a ubuntu user let me change it to sudo user sudo docker ps now if let us check if there is any containers that are running let me hit enter if you see here we are getting only these things right so container id image command created status ports and we don't see anything else right that means we are we do not have any container that is currently running okay so let me clear the screen again and let me see if we have any images already so i'll just say docker images okay so if you hit enter you'll get again the error so make sure you add uh, uh, you know sudo in the beginning docker images let me hit enter if you see here we don't have any images also okay so that confirms that we don't have any container running and we do also do not have any images in our ec2 instance so first let us go ahead and create an image first and then run that container okay so to create an image we have to run this command called we we will have to use that docker file we, with the use of docker file only you can you will be able to create the image right that is the use of docker file so for that you will have to type in docker okay you are creating an image right now right so you are you need to type in docker build b u i l d okay and you will have to type in the image where where your uh, docker file is located basically our docker file is located in the same uh, same directory right so i will have to type in dot here right dot indicates that you are in the same directory right so before that you will have to tag this image right so what is the image name that you want to give right so i'll just say docker build hyphen t i'll just say uh, amc that means a monk in cloud slash uh, i'll just say flask app okay i'll just say flask app this is the name of the image that i'm giving and i'll say dot dot indicates that the docker file that you have it is in this current directory okay after uh, typing this command hit enter 
again you will get a permission error just type sudo sorry for that i'm really sorry i'll just copy it from the here from the above command i'll just paste it here and i'll just hit enter again okay now if you see it is downloading everything that we had in our docker file so if you see here let me go back to my docker file here open in the github so if you see we have these things that we have right so let's see we if we have that things happening here right so if, if you see here it the first step is from python 3 right it is downloading all the things if you see here it is fetching all the things from library slash python right so it, if you see here pull complete now it is going to next step it is collecting all the dependencies and we have some uh, this also we also have some warnings that that can be ignored right so then uh, it is uh, you know if you see here we have successfully built that image and the image id is this one and we have also tagged that image with this one amc flask right flask application and it is adding latest because it is a latest image right so these are all the things that we had given and it is executing completely if you see here the second step was to run pip install flask if you go back this is the second step right that is also done let me go back here again likewise after downloading the in uh, dependencies it has changed the directory and if you see here copy it to this directory expose this uh, port and if you have any error right it will show here itself right so this is done so we already have an image that is uh, built right now okay so let me clear my screen now i'll just say docker images let's see if we have that image or not right so i'll just type in sudo i i will have to practice typing sudo because i forget that so i'll just say sudo docker images okay if you see here we did not have python before but we have it right now if you know the reason comment down below all right so the reason is very simple the first thing that we mentioned is from python right so that is the base image so that is where our uh, that is from that image only we are using uh, we are running the application right so python is the base image that we had and on top of that image we are running flask application so that is why if you specify from python it will automatically uh, fetch that image it will download that image okay so the next new image that we created is amc slash flask app and the tag is latest and this is the image id okay now what it is done is whatever the application that we had right application code that we had so it is converted into an image right now okay now with this image you can run the container and you can also get the output so previously we were getting this output right so when we ran this on our ec2 directly we were getting the same response but uh, if you go back and run it as a container you should also get the same thing let us verify that let me clear my screen okay i'll just say uh, sudo i'll also get my images open because i need that you will you will understand why okay sudo docker images so these are the images that we have okay now let me run this image the first image to run image you have to type in okay first let me type in sudo before forgetting sudo docker okay run and this is the uh, you know command okay so we are running this application in the background not in this screen right we want to run that application behind it so for that you will have to use hyphen d hyphen d means detached mode in the background right so that is why i'm using hyphen d okay i'm going to map the port so i want this application to run on my host 80 port right so now if you see this python application is running with a port 8080 but i want that application to run on with uh, with my host ip address on port 80 right so http port so that for that you have to use hyphen p port mapping what is the host I, what is the host port that you are intent in uh, your intention is to use that is 80 right so my port host port is 80 colon and what is the actual port that your uh, 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 your uh, docker container is using that is port 8080 right so you have seen that in the docker file if you want to just go back and see 
So if you see here, this is the port that we have exposed for this particular uh, you know, Docker file. So what I'm doing is, so this container is inside EC2. But if you want to access that, you will have to have a browser inside this EC2 and then you would be able to get that result. But as we do not have that, what I'm trying to do is I'm mapping that IP or the host, sorry, host port with the container port, right? That is what I'm doing here. sudo docker run hyphen D, I'm running it in the background, hyphen P port mapping 80 colon 8080 okay and what is the image that you want to run right so i'm going to use this image so let me copy this one and i'll paste it here okay so this is all you have to do let me hit enter if you get a response like this that means your container is running right now okay so let's see if your container is running or not let me type in docker sudo please add sudo okay so sudo docker and what is the command to uh, see if uh, what, what are the containers running it is ps sudo docker ps let me hit enter if you see right now before we did not have any containers running but right now if you see we have a container with this id if you see these are matching right so starting uh, the containers ids are matching and image if you remember we use this image and this is the command that we ran python app.py where did we run right so you may ask me where did we run but it fetched from your docker file if you see here python app.py right so and uh, it was created 24 seconds ago and it is you know mapped with this port if you see here port mapping you will be able to understand right here itself so 8080 it is a tcp port and this is mapped to 80 port 80 of your host right so and it gives a funny name always docker gives a funny name to all the containers that are running okay now if you want to access this particular application, what you have to do is you just have to get your uh, instances public IP and you can use it. Uh, uh, sorry, you can just get your information related to uh, your uh, Docker application. OK, so let me copy my public IP and paste it in the browser. You should get a response in port 80 itself because we have mapped like that right so this is what you are getting the response i did not add any port here because i have mapped the port so initially it is running in port 8080 of your container but I, what i told to container is okay you are running on 8080 but i want to access you with port 80 by using my instances public ip address so what it done it mapped if i you know go ahead and uh, hit the traffic to my public IP address on port 80 what it will do it will understand okay so if the port is 80 so I need to route traffic to my container with port 8080 so that is what it understands and it is this is how you will uh, you know containerize your flask application using the docker container okay so I do not know if you understood or not so if you are understanding please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. I have noticed that most of the people who are watching my channel haven't subscribed to the channel. So please consider subscribing because it takes ton of effort behind the scenes. So uh, the only thing that I'm asking is a like, share and a subscribe, right? So thank you everyone and I'll see you in the next one.